Do you have future plans or are you just kind of rolling with it and see where it goes? I've never had plans. <laughs> I've never had a plan in my life. So no, I don't have plans. I and just, you're comfortable just with that, right? kind of go right? with the flow. Yeah. See, that's, <laughs> see that's, that's another thing that is a problem for me is I'm such a planner that like I have to have a plan or I freak out. Yeah. I mean, that's what kind of makes me a good producer. Well, but definitely. But it also makes me like anxious all the time. Yeah. So, like, I kind of, you know, wish that I had more of that, like, free spirit. But you always seem to land on your feet. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. <laughs> like, I, my whole life, I've just kind of, like, gone with the flow and, like, not not figured anything out. And, you know, I dropped out of high school. And, mm-hmm. and it always just works out. So I just kind of go with it. Have you always had faith that things would work out? Yeah, I just always have this feeling like everything, everything will f- figure itself out or be okay. I think that's a great example of what, you know, so many of us are trying to, you know, preach and hold on to is the idea of like manifesting things. Yeah. It I believe in works. That. I believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. If, as soon as you speak something out and if you have like a goal, I think, and you talk about it and mm-hmm. like write it down in a notepad or something. Yeah. Do you have a way that you manifest things that you want? Yeah. Do you I, ju- do vision I just, I boards or anything like that. Um, I used to do vision boards, but now I kind of just start like on my iPhone notepad. Mm-hmm. I like make a list of like how, okay, how I want to, you know, start this and how is that? So I just kind of go with it. And then you find that things just kind of fall into place for you. Yeah. <laughs> don't they though? Like they do. always work out. They do, but it's so hard to believe that they will. But they always do. I don't know. I guess I've been through like a lot of horrible shit where mm-hmm. I thought like, oh, this is it. Like I was never going to get out of this. This is the end, you know? Yeah. And then life just goes on with it. Even if it's bad for a while. Yeah. It just always ends up, it always feels like things happened for that reason to right. me in my life. I don't know. I like even bad things. Yeah. I can always see that later. Like I can always be like, <laughs> well, oh, is, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Hindsight. Like, thank <laughs> God that horrible thing happened to me. Like, I'm so glad. Um, but at the moment it's, it's hard to see that. Yeah. But do you find that in the moment you can kind of like a part of you knows that it's yeah. going to be okay. I don't know if it's a, a defense mechanism or what from mm. being a kid or what, but yeah, if something starts going wrong, I just let go. Just yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Do you think having a hard childhood made you like appreciate life more? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do you in a way, are you in a way then grateful that you did? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I loved my, and actually <laughs> speaking about embracing it, I loved my childhood, even though it was shit. Like I really had a fun time, mm-hmm. but yeah, it definitely taught me how to be who I am today, you know? Yeah. And people think, oh, she's so easygoing or something. But it's just like, cause I didn't know I would live this long, you know? So like anything now is just a bonus. <laughs> so I just had a great time. I don't know. <laughs> Do you still, who was it that disowned you? Was it your dad? My dad re-owned me. I was going to ask you. That's so great. So you guys reconnected? Yeah, because I'm not shooting. So he was like, okay, you're not shooting. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so how, how has that been for you? Uh, it's cool. It's, it kind of it just went back to normal. Interesting. It was interesting. How did, did he like, did you tell him that you'd stop shooting? Yeah, or? I told him, you know, yeah, I told him and uh-huh. he just like accepted it. And it was like a five year thing. Like he disowned me for five years. And not only that, but made my, my stepmom and both my brother and sister do the same. Right. And when I came back, you know, they were just kind of like, well, that was stupid. <laughs> like, she's still the same person. Yeah. I think they might've thought like, I don't know how I would be like strung out on drugs or something. Cause I yeah. used to have a drug problem. Right. So I think maybe they thought, I think people think that stars are always on drugs at yeah, work. Yeah, I think they do. Like we have huge rails of not on the job, which is not you, the you, case. You don't? I always bring so much blow to set. How do you think I get through the day? It's like, wait, wait, we are not supposed to do that? <laughs> wait, oh, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> is that why everyone's always in the bathroom? <laughs> My days are really long. Embrace the cocaine. <laughs> yeah, so and I guess when I was sober and, you know, I'm doing really, I'm doing, like, I've never been happier or healthier, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think that was. Yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> I would be more tan, but the last month I was in a wetsuit the whole time. Right. So I've lost my tan. Oh, that's, well, not so much. I mean, you still look pretty f- tan. <laughs> like, pretty so tan. yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. So how are things with Johnny? Johnny's great. Uh, Johnny and I did take a break. Mm-hmm. Um, I think after, well, we really took a break actually quite a while ago. We just never told anyone. Right. Um, when I moved to Hollywood and he was stayed in Vegas to shoot and I, we made the decision together for me to shoot with other guys. Mm-hmm. And, um, we just kind of like would be on the couch and think like, 
we're just friends at this point, you know? Yeah. And it was never a negative thing. Like Johnny and I have always had the best relationship. Mm-hmm. He's, we still have, like, we have a great, great relationship. Mm-hmm. But it just became, I think that subconsciously we had to push each other into the friend zone that last year because we were both shooting, like, I was shooting like 27 days a month and he right. was shooting like 20 days a month. And like, when we'd get back together, I'd like come home from like getting like all day and like, I'm like, oh, don't touch me. Like, oh, yeah. I'm sore. And like, we could never like, yeah. And then not only that, but since we had our own production company and everything, we kind of like sold our relationship to the internet mm. without th- without realizing it. It just kind of snowballed and got worse and worse. And then like even our wasn't ours anymore. It was mm. for money and it was always for money and always for this. So like our intimacy kind of like, it just, it just got fucked up. Yeah. And we just became homies, like just like friends, you know? Mm-hmm. So we took a break because when I first got with Johnny five, six years ago, um, I wanted to go traveling. That mm-hmm. was my dream. And I met him and, and he f***ed it up because <laughs> I fell in love with him and I needed yeah. to be with him. Right. And so I gave up on that dream and, and shot instead for five years. So um, we took this break, you know, in a, at a, as a time to, you know, just be friends and for us to work on each on ourselves. And, and that enabled me to go traveling, you know, like I still talk to him every day, mm-hmm. but I'm just growing for, for me. And he's doing the same, mm-hmm. like he's doing things that he was always nervous to do, like triathlons. And we're both like bettering each other, our, ourselves and motivating each other. Um, and just taking this time to, you know, just get better. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.